Without holiness, no man will see God. God is holy, and if we want to come into His presence, we ourselves need to be pure and holy and without sin. No sinners will go into heaven. And therefore the writer of Hebrews writes in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, Pursue peace with all men and sanctification without which no man will see God. Some other translations say, Make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy. For without holiness, no one will see the Lord. If we want to enter the kingdom of heaven, and if we want to live in the presence of God, we must separate ourselves unto Him and be holy. We must turn away from sin. We must turn away from the things of the world that can defile us, contaminate us, make us dirty. It is easy to become dirty. It is easy to lose our focus. It takes extreme effort to be pure and holy. If we go into the wrong places, if we keep the wrong company, then we will be drawn to the things of the world. So to be holy means that you separate yourself. You make every effort to stay away from anything that can take you away from God. You stop sinning. You break your ties with the wrong friends, even if it is your own family. Because you must decide whether you want to be a child of God or whether you want to end up in hell. All of us must make that decision because without holiness, no man will see God. You focus on Jesus and do those things that are pleasing to Him. You're not interested in the football game anymore. You don't drink beer with your friends. You don't watch TV. You don't allow filthy things before your eyes. You turn away from lustful things and those things that will take your focus off Jesus. And you keep yourself clean and pure. Or else you cannot come into the presence of God. Jesus said that those who are pure in heart, they will see God. If we are not pure in our hearts, we will not hear from God. We will not live in the presence of God. But if we purify ourselves of the defilements of the flesh, we keep our mind and our body pure and holy. This year is a temple of the Holy Spirit. If we keep this temple clean, this, this body, then the Spirit of God comes and lives in us and He reveals Himself to us. But if we allow filth and the devil in here, we have no relationship with Jesus and we don't receive revelation from God because we don't seek it. If we are not pure and holy, we will not hear the voice of Jesus. We will not have a relationship with Him and He will turn us away. He will say to us one day, Go away, I never knew you. Without holiness, no man will see God. Whoever wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. We need to turn away from those things. Don't go along with those things. It's a lonely road. No impure thing will come into the presence of God. We have to now already live in the presence of God. Through the Holy Spirit living in us. Or else we will not go into heaven. We will not have eternal life. We must be pure and holy to have a relationship with Jesus. We must seek that relationship all the time. It takes extreme effort. You separate yourself. You don't go and watch TV. You go and pray. 
You go and wait on the Lord. You go and listen and He will talk to you. And He will guide you into those things that are pleasing to Him. But if you have no desire for Jesus, and if you have a desire for filth and the things of the world, then you will never hear Him, you will never see Him, and you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. There's no salvation for those who are impure, for those who love the world and who indulge in sin. We must be pure and holy and seek Jesus all the time. All the time. We must reserve ourselves unto Jesus. If we seek Him, we will find Him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Without Him, there is no life. May Jesus bless you.